after this page, just paste uh, your um, your class. You have your uh, button moving. So here, what you Hello everyone, I am Raf and welcome to another video. So in this opportunity, I'm going to be talking about how to create elements, like moving elements in Elementor. So why should you need to have like these moving things in your page? Let's say, for example, in digital marketing that you need people to pay attention to something specific. Uh, imagine having a landing page with a bunch of buttons and some of them say uh, register or go to the next step or purchase and you somehow need to like you know make people focus on that it's this when you have like these moving things uh in your page and obviously in elementary it's uh kind of impossible to do certain things like this so i'm gonna show you how to do it okay so in your wordpress page you have to look for the one that you want to um customize or edit and here on edit with elementor for example and this will be taking you to the editor here so if you're not familiar with that, you just uh, select the element where you want to apply the effect here and just uh, on the pencil, just click there. And here you will be taken to the properties of the element. So here you have to go to advanced and in advanced you have to go to custom CSS. And here we're gonna use a small piece of CSS code as I mentioned before, and it's this one basically. So here you just have to only worry about the animation duration, so which is two seconds here, and obviously here, uh, which is the distance from the bottom to uh, the top um, on your uh, you know distance. So here, just copy this code, like all of it, and put it here in this section, just paste it right there. And after this, you have to just copy the classes without the dots, and just go up to layout and look for where it says CSS classes, like here. And it's going to remind you that you don't have to use any dots or commas or whatever. So just uh, control V or command V to paste it and do a space with the space bar like this and go back to your custom CSS and copy the second class, which is this one. So control C or command C to copy and go to layout. And here after this space, just paste uh, your um, your class, you have your uh, button moving. So here, what you can do is, again, if you wanna make it quicker, like uh, you can put on the animation duration to one second, it's gonna be uh, faster. If you wanna put like uh, 0.5, it's gonna be like crazy moving then. And you can change here also the, um, uh, the distance. So let's say 20 pixels, it's gonna be like this. I don't recommend to be like this, disturbing because it's not good. But you can have it like uh, 20 pixels, but let's say two seconds as it was before. It's, you know, it grabs the attention like nicely. And this is the first option. I'm gonna show you two more in case you don't have Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, I'm gonna leave you a link down below where you can get it. Uh, but obviously it's not required. You can use uh, this as well with uh, the free version. And then go to the second option. So the second option is, I think, the most used for all WordPress users, and it's basically going to appearance and then customize. It's going to take you to this section here, and you just have to go and click where it says additional CSS. And as soon as you get to the button, you just have to do some spacing uh, like, like this. And here, you just need to copy and paste again your code. For example, this, um, copy and paste it here. And same thing, same principle. I uh, just need to publish to save the changes like this in, in this button at the top and then go back to Elementor and here on Elementor as if you're using the free version, you are not going to be able to use this custom field. So what you have to do instead is just add in the classes here, the CSS classes. And this is the only thing that you need to do for now. And then you update your changes and you will see or have to look for your page again, or you can preview it like clicking here on the preview uh, icon and it's going to take you to your page like this. So once you're in your page, you have it here like, like this. So which is the, the main thing here? You have to, if you wanna change like distance to make it shorter, you have to look here on your customized section and you just put it like 10, for example, and then publish. And then after you publish, you wait until it saves the changes. And then here you have to refresh the page, obviously. And just wait until refresh. And as you can see, it's being reduced. 
So this is the second option. Let's go to the third option. So the third option, just in case you don't have Elementor Pro, um, it's like having this, uh, you just have to look for the widgets and look for HTML. And what you have to do is just maybe at the bottom of your page, this is not like the, the, the best option, but just in case you need to do something quick, it, it works, okay? So uh, just grab the HTML module here. You can put it, I'm gonna put it here as an example, but you can place it uh, at the bottom of your, of your page, okay? And once you're here, as, as soon as you select here the, the module, uh, you will have this HTML uh, section. So here, um, you just have to put like your code, but using this, uh, using the style tag, like in HTML like this, so style, and you can do the autocomplete. For example, it's gonna bring you the, the closing tag and you just do some enter and paste your code. And as you can see, as I had the same uh, thing on the button, which was uh, the CSS classes, it works instantly. And for example, if I go here, just check here, and let's say that I want to make this 100 and make it like to the top. And uh, I update here and I just wait until it updates then I just refresh my page and here you have it. So these are the three ways where you can add like bouncing elements to buttons. And one more important thing, uh, if you have like a button with a motion effect, it's not going to work. So uh, let's say that I have here, for example, um, 10, which is smaller. And this one has a motion effect like this. If I put like any kind of like motion effects like entrance or animations like uh, in Elementor directly, it's not gonna work. For example, let's say this, it's not gonna be working for, for this section. So um, just in case, um, disable that, just put it as default, for example, or just uh, remove it and it's gonna be working again. So let me know in the comments if it works for you. And if you have any questions, just put it there. I'm gonna be my best to answer and help you as well. And subscribe here for more videos like this and see you soon, bye.